Uh, thank you everyone for joining us. Um, this is going to be an overview of understanding health insurance costs, um, specifically the changes that were made uh, this year with a couple of the COVID relief packages that President Biden passed, which uh, specifically affect uh, subsidies and some cost sharing and some other uh, details that Brian, who is uh, from Metro Plus Health, who is one of our, our insurance partners, um, is gonna explain to us because uh, it's complicated. It's always complicated and now there's new changes. So there's a lot to understand. Um, so Brian's here to help walk us through all of that. Um, uh, a couple of things that I am going to mention off the top, we are going to be uh, sharing a recording of this session and uh, a link to the transcript. So if you need the written transcript um, or if you just want to refer back to the video, um, that's all going to be shared with you through um, the Eventbrite system after the event is over. So everyone who RSVP'd, all of you here, everyone who couldn't make it today will get that email, uh, get access to that information. Um, as Brian is going along, if you have questions that come up, just drop them in the chat. We'll have time uh, after his presentation to get to some of those questions. So if you drop them in the chat, I'll be watching that. And then uh, for the q and I'll just kind of run through, read out what, what people have, have um, been asking. If you see a question that you're like, absolutely, I want to know that too, just give, us a, give it a thumbs up so I know that that's one we absolutely have to get to. We'll try to get to everyone's questions in time. Uh, with that said, I'm gonna turn it over to Brian, take it away. All right, thank you so much. I'm Brian Ettinger, I'm with uh, Metro Plus Health. And I do have a presentation to share with you today. So I'll go ahead and get that queued up here. And um, appreciate the opportunity to come to speak. <clears throat> to you again, I was here last year doing our Metro Plus presentation, so I uh, appreciate the opportunity to come and speak to you again this year about our, uh, about our plans and certainly um, appreciate our partnership uh, over the last year or two. And um, yeah, hopefully you find this uh, presentation informative. So Again, I'm Brian Ettinger. I am a sales account executive with Metro Plus Health. I've been with the company about five years now and I'm uh, gonna do a quick run through of our company and um, a little bit of information about the marketplace. So gonna talk about Metro Plus Health. We'll talk about the American Rescue Plan, <clears throat> better known as the stimulus bill that was passed earlier this year. Going to talk about our products and benefits, the all important rates. Uh, believe it or not, our rates are going down for next year, uh, which we're happy about. Um, some new tools for Metro Plus members, and then next steps um, to get more information or to enroll in uh, Metro Plus. And then, of course, any questions you might have. All right, so let's talk about the company. Um, as I said, I've been here five years when I joined the company um, back in early 2017. We had just over 500,000 members. As you can see, we've grown to over 630,000. And, uh, you know, the big reason for that growth is we're among the highest rated plans um, in all of New York City. Uh, we are an HMO. So... We do have a closed network within the five boroughs of New York City, um, but we do have a large number of providers, 31,000 providers um, within the five boroughs. And of course, we have a, a diverse staff that speak over 40 languages, and um, <clears throat> we're actually a part of New York City Health and Hospitals, for those who are not aware of that. Um, we started out a metropolitan hospital back in 1985. Um, so we've been around for a long time offering health insurance to New Yorkers. We're financially stable and uh, being uh, part of New York City, we're not going anywhere. So uh, we'll continue to 
uh, provide a, affordable and, and quality health coverage to all New Yorkers. So as you can see up in the upper right hand corner, we'll, we'll toot our horn just a little bit here, not too much. <laughs> but we did win a pandemic activation and acceleration award. Um, I was pretty amazed myself. Um, right in the beginning of the pandemic last year, 2020, we rolled out our telehealth program um, early, <clears throat> earlier than scheduled, so that the members, you know, who weren't able to go see their doctor, or uh, you know, of course, we're in, still in the middle of a pandemic. At that time, it was quite frightening. Um, you know, if you weren't able to see your doctor, you didn't want to, you could use our telehealth service, which we um, still have in operation, which I'll go into a little bit later. So let's talk about the American Rescue Plan, uh, which was passed earlier this year, as it relates to our discussion. Um, <clears throat> there was a change in the tax credits that are available um, through the New York State of Health for those who don't know the New York State of Health is our Affordable Care Act exchange here in New York. Um, if there's anyone on the call that lives in New Jersey, it's covered NJ. Uh, I'm not going to be speaking about that marketplace. I'll be focusing on New York, but if you're in New Jersey, you can check out Get Covered NJ. Um, as far as New York goes, um, <clears throat> The American Rescue Plan expanded the tax credits um, that you can get as both an, an individual or a family. Uh, prior to uh, this bill being passed, there was a hard cutoff. I believe the amount was 49930 as an individual. If you made under that amount, you could get a tax credit, a federal tax credit to help you to pay for the plan. If you were $1 over that amount, you got zero tax credit. <laughs> so now that has been changed. It's more of a sliding scale. <clears throat> so as you can see, no one will pay more than 8.5% of their income um, for the benchmark plan in their particular county, the county that you live in. So now you can have you know, a much higher income level as an individual or a family and still qualify for a tax credit. Um, now, this was through this bill. I know they are talking about with the Build Back Better bill that's being uh, debated in Washington currently, I, that would make these tax credits a little bit more permanent, more funding for those. Um, but for right now, you can certainly take advantage of these tax credits going into 2022. So as you can see, just a quick example here, um, an individual uh, prior to the American Rescue Plan, if they were making 55,000 a year, they would have gotten zero tax credit. You would have gotten nothing. But now with the uh, enhanced tax credits, that individual can get a 230 dollar per month tax credit to help pay for health insurance and uh, the the tax credit's called an advanced premium tax credit and um it basically comes right off the top of the premium of the plan so right it's chopped right off the cost of uh your monthly amount that you pay for the plan <clears throat> in addition to that there were changes to the essential plan. The essential plan is a income-based health insurance plan. Um, you can see the individual limits here. It's between 12,880 and 25,760. If you make between that amount uh, per year, or you estimate to make that for next year, then you'd be eligible for the essential plan. Prior to the <clears throat> to the bill being passed, um, it was a twenty dollar monthly premium for the basic health plan. And then it was forty four dollars and change if you wanted to add dental and vision. Now uh, the premium is zero for medical, dental, and vision. So that was a nice change as well. Uh, as you might imagine, people in this 
income range sometimes have a hard time paying fifty dollars almost fifty dollars per month so now um they can get that for for zero dollar premium and as you can see there's no deductible with this plan very low co-pays it's a great plan um but it is income based again um there was a rule for this year 2021 <clears throat> that was a part of the bill that if you had unemployment insurance for at least one week, you could sign up for a nearly free health insurance plan. That is ending. If anyone did sign up on that, uh, did want to make you aware that that's going to be ending going into 2022. So I wanted to point that out. Okay, so... Let's talk briefly. I did see a, a quick question in the chat. I'll address that real quickly here. So for HMO, we have in-network services only. You would have emergency room coverage um, outside of the network. So you'd have coverage for those emergency scenarios. But as far as um, doctor visits, you know, your standard run of the mill tests, that sort of thing. You would want to do that in the network. Um, but again, you would have emergency room coverage outside of the network. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about some of our other uh, products, benefits, and rewards here at Metro Plus Health. The essential plan I talked about briefly. Um, you can see the income limits there depending on your uh, family size, it goes up to, on this chart, a family of four. Um, you can extrapolate that out if you have a larger size family. Uh, but if you're a family of four and the total household income is under 53000 um, you'd be eligible for the essential plan through the New York State of Health. Um, Child Health Plus is a big one. We always like to point out um, it's health insurance for your children under the age of 19 covers everything from checkups to dental care um, for lower income families you can get child health plus for nothing or next to nothing um, but even if you're not a low income family you can still get child health plus um, you would just have to pay the full premium um, which you know can be significantly cheaper than um getting a family plan so if you're a couple and you have you know say one child you could get a couple plan and child health plus and it'd be significantly cheaper than enrolling in a family plan um but of course with any of these plans you have to go on the new york state of health you had to complete an application um, which we do help with at, at metro plus health um, and then the state determines your eligibility based on um what you put in your application so there's medicaid managed care as well that's also an income-based uh health insurance plan zero premium you can be on that up to the age of 64. um your immigration information is required uh, for medicaid um not so much for the essential plan so with hiv SNP, that's Medicaid for individuals that are living with HIV or a high risk of contracting HIV. We do offer Medicare. Uh, if anybody's interested in um, discussing Medicare, you can uh, share that in the chat and I'd be happy to put our Medicare uh, hotline information in there. So we do offer that for individuals who are med Medicare eligible. And then we offer special needs, HARP, uh, managed long-term care, and, and other plans for individuals that are uh, eligible for those. So we do have a member rewards program. Basically, you earn points for doing things like taking your medications, going to your doctor's appointments, basically being an overall participant in your health care. And then you can purchase products um, on the member awards website um, with uh, the points that you earn. So for this year, um, well, next year, 2022, 
it's almost this year, two weeks away. Um, your primary care reward is going up to thirty dollars. The onboarding reward is going up to twenty dollars. Uh, if you're a new member to Metro Plus, your first primary care visit is going up to a fifty dollar reward. The flu vaccine is a twenty dollar reward. Uh, for enrolling in the Metro Plus portal, it's a ten dollar reward. And then we have a number of wellness challenges. And for those who are eligible for uh, <clears throat> for certain plans, we have a COVID um, vaccine reward for a full vaccination. So that's the reward plan. We always like to discuss um, the 360 degree support services. Um, I'm gonna be getting into the rates and the cost of the plan in just a minute here. That's obviously important. But you also want to know that you're getting, you know, good value for the money that you're paying. And, and that's something that we pride ourselves on is consistently getting high um, member scores and, and value scores in New York City and throughout, um, you know, any sort of rating that I've seen in my time here, we consistently uh, score high on that. And that's because... We offer all these different services as you We offer HIV support services, LGBTQ services, member awards I just went into, and then um, we offer a pill pack through our pharmacy uh, provider, CVS. So those are just some of the benefits that you get for being a, uh, a member with Metro Plus. So let's talk about the uh, health library. If you're like me, sometimes you take a visit to Dr. Google and Dr. Google generally doesn't have a good prognosis for you. At least he doesn't for me. <laughs> so we actually have a health library Whereas you can see here, you can check out a symptom checker. Um, you know, if you have something going on, you want to know what it is. You can get actual health information, not somebody's opinion online. Um, I know for me, that's definitely a good thing. So we offer a wellness center in there, uh, tutorials, all sorts of different information in there that you know, is, is based in fact, which that's, that's what I like to read, especially when it concerns my health. So um, that's health, you can see on the bottom here, that's healthlibrary.metroplus.org. You can find the information in there. So let's talk about the rates. That is all important. And okay, I Quickly before I get into that, I do see a, a question in the chat. What's the difference between Medicaid and Medicare? Um, Medicaid is income-based. So if you make a certain income level, you'd be eligible for Medicaid. Medicare is both uh, income-based and age-based. So you have to be 63 and you have to have worked, I believe it's 20 quarters. Um, to qualify for Medicare. So you'd have to qualify for Medicare first, get your red, white, and blue card, and then you would come to us to sign up for the Medicare plan. Okay, so let's talk about the rates here. So as I said before, our rates are actually decreasing for 2022. Um... And as you can see, they're going down about 4% uh, for all the plans. And this is actually going to put us as the most cost-effective plans on the New York State of Health, except for one, the bronze standard. Uh, you might be asking yourself, what's the difference between standard and non-standard? Um, sta non-standard basically means that uh, dental and vision coverage is included with that plan. That's not standard coverage um, through the New York State of Health. But 
the good news is with the non-standard, if you compare the bronze standard with the bronze non-standard, you'll see it's about a $3 difference. So you can get dental and vision coverage. Um, I mean, it's, it's basic coverage, but it's $3 per month for my money. That's pretty good to have coverage for both of those things. Um, and as you can see here, we have four different metal levels. There's bronze, silver, gold, and platinum. So the bronze <clears throat> is the lowest cost plan with the highest deductible and co-pays. And then we have two kind of sweet spot plans, the silver and gold. Those are, you know, sort of Goldilocks plans. Um, the deductibles are somewhere in the middle and, and the prices are also in the middle. And then platinum has no deductible and low co-pays, but as you can see is, is the highest um, rate. Now, all the same things are covered here. It's basically just the cost mecha mechanism is different between the plans. And one thing I always like to point out, if you're having uh, prescriptions filled, um, you do have to meet the deductible with the bronze plan before um, you only have to pay copays uh, for your prescriptions. Not so with the silver plan. You don't have to meet the deductible first. There's no uh, drug pharmacy deductible for the silver plan. You only pay the copay um, with that plan for your prescriptions. All right. So where do we stack up to the competition? Uh, we did put a little chart <coughs> together here comparing us to one of our competitors, um, Health First. And you can see with the Platinum Plan, um, we're about, yeah, about $300 lower than Health First. Um, same deductible. With the Gold Plan, we're a little over $200 lower per month. Um, and he, as you can see, they're offering an HMO as well with this plan. Um, and the deductible is a little bit um, higher with the health first plan. Silver, again, we're lower, um, almost $200. One thing I always like to point out when comparing plans is make sure you're comparing apples to apples. You can see here, Health First has their silver plan for 4,700 as the deductible. Our silver plan is 1,300. Um, so their silver plan here looks more like what our bronze plan um, would look like. So you just wanna make sure you're comparing those deductibles and co-pays when you're looking at um, different health insurance rates and, uh, and the different plans that are offered. And then again, lastly, you can see on the bronze, um, we are more cost effective and lower deductible on that plan as well. Uh, some new tools for 2022. Um, before I dive into this, I did forget to point something out on the New York State of Health slide um, since we're talking about going into 2022 here. If you already have, a application and a plan on the New York State of Health um, that you had done, say, in the, the first half of last year, you're going to want to make sure you go on to the New York State of Health and, um, and update your application. Um, for renewals, today is actually the last day to complete your renewal if you have a qualified health plan already on the New York State of Health. Um, and in addition, as I said before, there's expanded tax credits, um, which you might not have been eligible for if you signed up at the at the uh, beginning of last year, but now you might be eligible for with the extended tax credits. I've, I've seen a couple of those happen already where individuals signed up, you know, on the first in Q1 or Q2 last year, and they weren't eligible for a tax credit. Then they went back at the end of the year and updated their application and they were eligible at that point um, for a tax credit. So 
something to keep in mind if you already have an application on the New York State of Health. Now is a good time to go on and update that application. Okay, so some tools um, for more comparisons um, for Metro Plus. If you have a doctor you absolutely need to see, perhaps they're in another network, you want to make sure they're in our network, you can go to providersearch.metroplus.org and you can search for your provider on that site. As I said before, we have over 31,000 provider sites throughout the five boroughs. This has been a great tool. I've used it a lot myself when I sign people up um, on a plan, you know, and, and they want to make sure their doctor's in our network. This is the site I go to. So you can search, uh, as you can see here, by primary care doctor, by specialist. If you have a dental and vision plan, you can search for those providers. Um, some people like to see doctors where they live. Some people like to see the doctors um, near where they work. If you have a physical space, um, you can search by zip code and see what doctors are in that area. Um, and as you can see on the bottom here, we do have 35 hospitals um, in the network. That's including um, all the city hospitals, um, Mount Sinai, NYU for specialty, and, and a number of other um, facilities throughout the five boroughs. 122 urgent cares, and then a very healthy number of primary care providers and specialists, again, sprinkled throughout the, the five boroughs of New York City. Um, some other new things for this year, Metro Plus Mobile, that's live. If you're a member, you can use that. Um, we do have an updated member portal. You can do all sorts of things in there. You can set up recurring payments. Um, you can change your PCP. Uh, you can request ID cards, a um, whole bunch of different things you can do in there. And you sign up for the portal basically after your coverage becomes active. So if your coverage were to become active on January the 1st, you could sign up for the member portal starting on January the 1st. Um, and then I spoke about uh, the virtual visits, our telehealth service that's offered with our plan. Uh, so Metro Plus virtual visits is live. If uh, you don't want to go see your doctor in person or you're not able to, um, you can take advantage of that service. All right, so next steps. If you want more information about Metro Plus um, or you're interested in enrolling, you can take down the numbers here. Those are our direct lines. I'll also put my information in the chat. Um, and you can uh, you can reach out to me directly, or you can reach out to one of the lines here. Um, on the freelancers site, it's freelancersunion.org/insurance/health, and you can compare the different plans um, that are offered on there and advertised. And then um, to enroll in Metro Plus. Again, there's a couple different ways to enroll. So one way, if you think you might be eligible for a tax credit or one of the lower income plans, you would want to sign up through the New York State of Health. And everyone on our team is certified on the New York State of Health, including myself, so we can help you uh, complete an application on there and see what you're eligible for. Um, if you don't think you're eligible for a tax credit, uh, and you want to sign up for what's called a full pay plan, you can enroll directly with Metro Plus. And the website to do that is, is enrollment.metroplus.org. And how the process works basically is you fill out as much information as you can on the application there. Um, the application goes to our team. That's the commercial team at Metro Plus, of which I am a member, and um, someone from our team will reach out to you to help you complete your application. 
Once the application is complete, our enrollment and membership team takes a look. Uh, if there's any additional information that's needed, generally not. Sometimes there is. Um, we'll reach out and get that information. If not, uh, the application is approved. From there, an invoice is generated. And uh, what you want to do is pay your first invoice uh, before uh, the plan is beginning to start. So, for instance, if you signed up today, your plan will be starting on the 1st of January. So, we would send you an invoice. You would want to pay that before uh, the end of December. And then we would mail your ID card and you could start using the plan um, starting on. January the 1st. So I do see there's some questions in the chat. Let me get to those, see which ones I have not answered yet. Um, okay, so. The unemployment that I was speaking about, there was a rule last year. Um, that if you received unemployment um, for at least one week in 2021, you were eligible for a uh, low or no cost health plan. That is going away starting in 2022. So if you were eligible for that, that's gonna be ending in two weeks here. You'll have to sign up for a new plan. Um, from Sally, is there an income cutoff for tax credits? Um, do they apply to the basic plan or can it be applied to higher tiers? So yeah, the tax credit can be applied to any of the plans, uh, bronze, silver, gold, or platinum. Um, the benchmark plan is generally the silver plan. So you wouldn't be paying more than 8.5% of your income um, for the silver plan. And you don't have to worry about figuring out any of the math. Um, all you have to do is complete an application on the New York State of Health, and then they determine how much of a tax credit you get. I'd say right now the cutoff is probably about between 80 and 90,000. If you make over that amount as an individual, most likely you're not going to be eligible for a tax credit. I'd say even if you make under a hundred thousand, it's probably worth at least checking and seeing if you're eligible for a tax credit. Um, but of course, if you have more members in your family, if you're married or you have dependents, um, that income level goes up. Um, so, for instance, if you're married and, you know, you make under probably 125000 per year as a couple, there's a good chance you're going to be eligible for a tax credit um, to help you to pay for the plan. And even if you think that, you know, you might be eligible, it's worth at least calling on the New York State of Health and filling out an application. Um Worst case scenario, you're not eligible for a tax credit and you can still sign up for a full pay plan on there. Um, so that would be my advice there. Okay, next question. So Alex, um, I'm not sure if you're, if in your question, you're talking about going backwards or going forwards. Um, going backwards, I couldn't say for sure you would, if you already have an application on the New York State of Health and you're talking about a plan you might already have, you probably want to reach out to the New York State of Health um, customer service team they'd be better able to answer that for you. But going forward, um, again, 
the tax credit would would fill in that delta in between how much you make and and how much that 8.5 percent is so in my example of the person who makes fifty five thousand per year in brooklyn um that delta was 230 dollars per month so that person gets 230 dollars per month that they can apply um towards the cost of their plan so i hope that answers your question there uh phone numbers let me go back Oh, Sally, let me see if I, uh, I see you have a number of questions. So let me see if I can unmute you here. Um, you've answered some of them. Um, oh yeah, do you, can you explain the pros and cons of higher or low, lower deductible monthly premium? Sure. So when I discuss these plans with individuals, you know, it's not a requirement, but I'll generally ask. You know, are you getting medications filled? Are you going to the doctor a lot? You know, if if in the next year, 2022, you foresee, you know, you're going to have to get some procedures done, you have prescriptions you need filled, you're probably not going to want to go with the bronze plan. Um, with that plan, the deductible is $4,700. And again, you, as I mentioned earlier, you have to meet that um, deductible before um, you only pay the co-pays for prescriptions and the deductible is high as it is. So an individual like that, I would say the silver plan is probably a better bet. The silver plan, the deductible is only $1,300. Um, it's a little bit higher of a cost, but you know, if, if you think there's a number of services you're going to need next year, um, and of course, we don't always know, um, you know, sometimes it's better to have that higher cost plan. It's basically a pay now or pay later proposition. As I said, um, the coverage is the same throughout all the plans. It's just a matter of do you want to pay less up front and potentially owe more later? Um, or do you want to pay more now? For instance, the other day I signed someone up on, on the platinum plan that is relatively healthy, but they don't want to have to worry about the a deductible. They want the plan paying from dollar one, um, which you would get with the platinum plan. But I'd say in my experience, most people that are signing up are, you know, over 50% are are in you know the bronze or silver plan those generally meet your needs and if you know if you're the kind of person that just wants your annual physical covered with all the plans your annual physical is free um so there's no cost for that and then you want something else just in case something happens during the course of the year bronze is probably uh the best bet for you and I see you asked about the phone number, so let me go back to that page. There's that. Thank you. And then um, what about if you have a chronic illness and need to see a lot of specialists? I would say then, you know, a, uh, one of the higher cost plans is probably a better bet. Um, you know, gold or platinum would be, you know, a better consideration. Uh, if an individual told me that was their circumstance, I would say, um, you know, you'd want to do the gold, which has a deductible of $600, or the platinum again, which is um, $0 deductible. Then you don't have to worry about figuring out any medical bills. You only have to go and pay your copay. 
uh, which I believe for the platinum is $15 for primary care and 25 for the specialist. So you will not have to worry about meeting any deductibles or paying any other bills aside from that. And then, you know, they generally um, collect those co-pays right when you go into the office. So you don't have to worry about getting any bills in the mail. Sounds good. Um, two more questions. Um, I'm on, my affordable plan is expiring in May. Um, but is there, I know the window to enroll is closing. Is there a cost savings? Um, I guess is there a cost savings if you enroll with the freelance union? And if, um, and I guess should, if there's a cost saving, should I do that before my plan expires in May? So um, the rates are the same for everybody. So we do have a number of different partnerships. Um, unfortunately, we don't offer rate discounts. Um, it would be nice if we did, but, you know, we try to keep, it's kind of like going to Bob's discount furniture for lack of a better term you know you're not you're not going there and and haggling you know and getting a discount the rates are the rates and that's that's kind of the same with us that's how we're able to keep our costs low um and offer that to all our members that enroll with us and then as far as the may question goes um if you're enrolled in Medicaid or the essential plan, you could just stay in that plan um, until your renewal. And right now, um, at least for a while during the pandemic, the, uh, the New York State of Health has been auto renewing um, all Medicaid and, and essential plans. So you don't even have to complete a renewal. I'm not sure how much longer that's gonna go for, but at least for now, um, through next month. They pretty much do a month to month they announce that. If you signed up for a qualified health plan um, and you got a tax credit, I would definitely advise you to go in and update your application with your updated income information for 2022. You might be eligible for a better tax credit than you signed up for last year. Um, so that would be my advice on that. Okay, cool. And then last question, the um, wellness rewards, is are those things applied to your premium or do you get a check in the mail? That is basically, um, it's like a product store. So those, those amounts that I showed you are, you know, you'd be eligible for a product on the reward store that are eligible to that amount. For instance, they have like baby car seats and basketballs and all sorts of different stuff on there. So yeah, it's not it's not like a check or anything like that, so. Great, thank you for let other people ask questions. <laughs> all right, so there was a question here, where do we go for eligible for tax credits? Um, Again, that's the New York State of Health. It's uh, the website is nystateofhealth.ny.gov. Um, and again, to see which plan you are eligible for, <coughs> you first want to complete an application. So you would go on there. Um, and as for the question about uh, husband versus domestic partner, in the application, you put all members of the household um, on the application, and then you would indicate whether they need health insurance or not, and your eligibility is based on the total household income. Um, and again, we at Metro Plus, we're all certified to help with that, so if you need assistance, feel free to reach out to us. We can help you with that. Catastrophic plans, I see a question about that. Um, we are actually discontinuing our 
catastrophic plan for next year. It was called Med Plus. Um, that unfortunately is being discontinued for 2022 for Metro Plus. I couldn't speak for other companies, um, but for us, that was the catastrophic plan that if you were under 30 years of age, you could enroll in that. Um, that is going away. And so now the lowest cost plan is going to be the bronze plan. But we do offer um, what I was showing you is called the bronze plus plan. We do offer a bronze HSA plan, and that would be eligible for uh, for a health savings account, you know, which is a a tax initiative you could set up with your bank. Um, I don't know, some people have done it with, like, I don't want to throw out just any bank name, but I've seen it done with Bank of America. Um, you can set that up, and that plan is a $6,100 um, deductible, which would qualify at, in the eyes of the IRS, as a high deductible plan. But as far as the catastrophic, that, again, is going away, unfortunately. Uh, pros and cons you could mention about these kinds of plans. Um, I mean, really, I'd say the pros are, um, as I was discussing, you know, the, the cost effectiveness. You know, if you go to some of the big <clears throat> nationwide insurers, we're a regional insurer here in New York. If you go to like United Healthcare, Blue Cross Blue Shield, you're going to be paying double, triple, you know, these rates. And for instance, like United Healthcare, a lot of times they don't even have as many providers in the five boroughs as we do. Um, so, you know, the pro is that. Um, you know, that cost effectiveness, but also being that we're a regional insurer, we have deep ties in the community. Um, doctors generally love us from everything that I've heard. Um, our reimbursements are always on time and, and at a good rate. Um, so doctors like to have Metro Plus members in their offices, um, which is always a good thing. Um, you know, the only con that we have that I would say, and I always point out to people, is that we only offer coverage within the five boroughs. So if you live outside the five boroughs, <clears throat> that's obviously a big con, you know. Um, and the antidote to that, again, is that we do offer um, emergency room coverage outside of the five boroughs. So I, I always kind of get that. Oh, the rates are great. The coverage is great. What's the catch? <laughs> and I say, if there is a catch, it's that, you know, you can't see doctors outside of the five boroughs. But if you do run into an emergency scenario, again, <clears throat> you do have coverage for that. Okay. This is my dog, Kiki. <laughs> She's helping out with some of the questions here. She's a nine pound toy poodle. <laughs> All right. How do you add Child Health Plus for a child? Um, all I've seen in the marketplace are child plans from other insurance. So again, um, for eligibility for any of the members of the household, you need to fill out the application first. So, you would need to um, go on the New York State of Health. If you have an ny.gov login, um, you can immediately sign up. If you don't, you'll have to create a New York.gov um, username and password. And then from there, they ask you your personal details. Um, name, so security number, date of birth, address, all these sorts of things. You have to pass an identity proofing, which is generally like you used to live on this street. Um, and you have to provide the correct answer. And then you add in members of your household. 
and um, you put all their names in there with their date of birth and social security. Then there is an income section. And in the income section, you put in your income as well as the other members of the family um, that are working. After that, once you complete all that, then you get an eligibility determination. Um, and once you get your eligibility determination, that's when they um, let you know that you're eligible for, for instance, Child Health Plus. Um, or again, if you're lower income, um, you might, the children might even be eligible for Medicaid, then you wouldn't have to go on Child Health Plus. Um, we're gonna, we're gonna wrap it up. Um, we gotta, gotta end things. I think that's a great place to end it. Um, I can see there's one question here. The Sally's got one more question here about getting in touch with you personally, Brian. I know you had mentioned that you are available. Um, so we've got these phone numbers here. That's to get in touch with the Metro Plus um, customer service and anybody there can help you out. But if you'll, if you wanna take a look in the chat right now, Brian is making himself available to us. Um, you can give him a call, you can send him an email. Uh, that goes for anybody here. Um, and he's, he, you know, we're, we're here to help you get set up. Um, as he mentioned, you know, unfortunately, you don't get a discount when you sign up through us, which is, you know, would be nice. So it's always something we get asked about. Uh, the benefit of, of signing up through Freelancers Union is that, you know, um, the more members that we have, you know, with the insurance companies, the more that we are able to do things like this. Right, we got a lot of members with Metro Plus. We can get Metro Plus on the line. We can get you Brian's personal phone number, um, so, and you know it, it's a benefit to the union to sort of, you know, build up our strength and and to be able to um, have that sort of uh, collective power when we when we talk to the companies and and we can really make things happen for you guys. So that's the benefit. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't come with a dollar amount, but hopefully, you know, we think it's worth it. And we obviously, you know, our goal is always to make sure that freelancers are protected in, in all ways that they can be and, and health is such a big part of it. Um, so thank you, Brian, so much. Thank you for sharing all this information with us. Um, like I said, we're going to contact you with the recordings. If you missed something, don't worry. You'll see these phone numbers again. We'll, we'll get it all to you. And you've got... Um, New Yorkers have until January 31st uh, to make their final decisions. If you make your choice today, it starts January 1, uh, but the window doesn't officially close until the 31st of January. So you've got a little bit more time if you still have questions. Um, thank you so much, everybody, for joining us, for taking some time out of your afternoon, and uh, have a great rest of your day. <laughs>